setting sun, searching for a longer day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited about today's video because it's just going to be like me sitting down, doing my makeup, just chatting to you guys, talking about life. Um, it's going to be like a full face of first impression. So I'm basically going to be using mostly all the stuff that I got um, in Sydney recently. So from iMats and Sephora and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, I just really think these videos are really cool because you just get to see like my first impression and my first opinion on all this stuff just live on camera and it's just going to be a very chilled out video it'll probably be a long one so grab a snack and enjoy so i've already moisturized my skin and done all that jazz so i'm going to go in with a primer um i got this new makeup forever primer at imats um, I got the step one skin equalizer now I wasn't sure which one to get because there is like so many different types um, but the girl told me that this one is awesome for dry skin and I am quite dry and she's oh okay then so yeah she said this one is just really good for dry skin and it's just a nourishing primer it's just like that's what it looks like there it's just like an everyday sort of primer so Let's test it out, it felt really nice on my hand. So let's put it to the test. I'm just gonna put a little bit, I don't really know how much to put, maybe like that much. Okay, maybe a bit more. <laughs> it smells really nice, it smells like cucumber, like really, really refreshing. I've recently been really loving my Il Masca primer, um, the dewy one. It's just like, it's really moisturizing and it's also like actually, like I've seen an improvement of my foundation. Like my NARS Sheer Glow literally stays on so well. Like I wore it out in Sydney when we had our night out um, with all the beauty bloggers and stuff. Um, I had that on from 7 in the morning, I wore it all day to eye mats and then I wore it at night, I didn't even touch it up and by the time I got home it had rained on my face and everything and it was still flawless and that never ever happens. And I always like have to wear Estee Lauder double wear <clears throat> when I go out because everything else, else just slides off but I feel like that primer just really really helped my sheer glow to stay on so that makes me very very happy because I hate double wear, it makes my skin feel like shit. Alrighty, so I can feel that that's really nice and tacky. So that is a good sign. Okay, now for the foundation. I picked up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Um, I wasn't really planning on buying this, but I just came across it and they had like this um, this pro pack. You'll, I'll talk about it in my haul, but this one actually seems to be my color, which I didn't think there would be one that would be my color because I just got my kit colors. And yeah, this one's my color, so I'm really excited. It is in the shade... Um, okay, so it says 120 equals Y245 because I heard that they changed their numbers for their Ultra HD. But yeah, that is the shade. It's a really nice yellow shade. I literally thought I would have to mix my shades. So that is awesome. So I'm just going to apply that with um, my damp beauty blender. I have re fallen in love with it, you guys. Well, this is quite runny actually. I thought it'd be a lot thicker than that. Um, I don't mind that, so I'm just going to stipple that on. But anyway, I've literally really fallen in love with my beauty blender. For a while, I went to my Real Techniques complexion sponge, and I just, that was my, like, holy grail for ages. And, yeah, and then I just really fell in love with this when I purchased a new one at Sephora the last time I went, but I just didn't open it for ages, and then I opened it, I was like, oh my god. I'm just, yeah, I don't think I'll ever go back anymore. It's just, I think you get into phases. <laughs> mm. I like that this is yellow. A lot of foundations aren't yellow these days. I like that a lot. Because I find, especially with drugstore foundations, like nothing's ever yellow enough. It's always just a tad too pink. And if it is yellow and golden, it's too light. Mm. 
So I can tell this is quite medium coverage. It's not a full coverage. Like it is a full coverage, but like buildable full coverage. Um, by just applying it like this, it is quite just a medium coverage, which is what I like. I'm just building it up around here a little bit just to see if it does build up into a full coverage and it does. And the reason why I do that is because I find that my foundation like tends to fade around these areas only. I don't know why. Does anyone else get that? But just around like my jaw, I'm like, I don't touch that area. I don't know why it comes off, but it just does. And you want to make sure you blend it down your neck. So I don't get that ugly line that you see a lot of people walking around with. Not cute. I really hate having long hair sometimes because like when I curl it, like you can't even see it on camera because it's just long. Okay. Can't wait to see how this photographs. Oh my god. Very excited. Apparently it looks amazing in photos. You guys would like to see a first impression on this foundation, which I could do. It wouldn't be a full first impression because I am using it now. But to like see how it wears throughout the day and I could just like, you know how I did with my L'Oreal one the infallible matte one um and that sort of just like can check in throughout the day to see how it's wearing i find that that's sort of the best like whenever i want to purchase a foundation i always love watching them kind of first impressions because then i can actually see if it's if it wears for a long time or whatever because it's one thing sort of what the foundation looks like when you apply it and stuff but how it wears throughout the day i think is the most important I love the colour of this. Very nice satin finish too. Okay, Jake, now that the foundation is on, I'm just going to conceal my under eyes, I think. Um, I'm going to use... Oh my god, I keep dropping everything. Hello. My face is here, thank you very much. Um, so I picked this up at Sephora. Last time I went there, I... Got a little sample of this and I loved it so I picked up the full size. I wanted to get it last time but they didn't have the right shade in stock. So it's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And this is in the shade white. I feel like this is a lot of concealer. Like this is going to last me for ages. And the thing is with this concealer as well, you only need the tiniest little bit. I'm just going to apply it with like a brush like this. I literally like only need that much. I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid because I'm just going to use that to prime my eyes as well because I'm too lazy to use my eyelid primer. And yeah, I'm just going to grab my beauty blender and just blend that out. So highlighted, I love it. I love this concealer. I'm not usually a fan of thick concealers because they crease on me. But this one doesn't for some reason. So, because it's like, it's thick but it's a very moisturizing I find. Like it's not drying at all. So I love it. So I'm just going to set that straight away so we don't get any creasing. And I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contouring Palette for this. So I'm just going to use a mixture of these two shades here. So glad I purchased this because it is the the brightening shades are so much more brightening on me. Like I feel like I love the Anastasia ones, but these ones are just a lot more pigmented and they really brighten up the under eye area. Alrighty, now we're going to move on to the brows. I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. And I'm not going to lie, the first few times I used this, I really didn't like it. But, you know, I kind of make it work because I used the Anastasia Brow Powder over the top. So, yeah, I'll just roll with it. So what I kind of do with the brow is, is I really just like do the outline and I fill in this part of my brow, but I don't touch sort of the front of my brow. 
because it just looks too harsh. So I thought I'd zoom you in nice, close and personal so you can see sort of what I do with my brows now. I don't know, my brow routine is just old. I don't do that anymore. So I filled it in with the Brow Wiz um, and then I go in... These, at least, okay, I'm going to show you this. This has my little two brow powders in it. They're from my Pro, Pro Brow Kit. And these are the shades that I take with me traveling. So I put them in my little Z palette here. And it's just perfect because then I don't have to bring any bulky things. And I always like to take my two brow products. I like to take my transition shade. You all know I love these sort of colors in my crease. Now I take a matte white and a matte black because they always come in handy, you know? So what I do is I take a bit of this dark shade, which is in the shade Ebony. And with my um, Anastasia number 12 brush, sorry, I should put it this way. Um, so I just go over the arch. And I feel like if I don't do this and don't set the brow with, then it just comes off. I then go in with the lighter shades and I sort of mix these two together and that's dark brown and then I start filling in the head of my brow so I start from underneath and I sort of like brush it up like that. And then I just brush them out and that's pretty much it. After that, I go in with a brow gel. My new holy grail brow gel is the Essence, what's it called? Make, oh my God, I'm literally dropping everything today. Make Me Brow, and it is a dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow, but I think this one's better because it is more like liquidy, and so it really sets my brows in place. I feel like the Gimme Brow is more dry, and it runs out a lot quicker. I already bought it back up with this from the Priceline sale, because like, it was like $3 of the sale. So good. And yeah, it's just, it's got the little fibers. It makes my eyebrows look bushier and thicker, and it really, really sets it all down in place so they don't move all day. And I've got like quite long brows, like the hairs are quite long. So I really, really need a gel that really sticks them down, because I don't want them flopping around in the wind, flying around. That's not cute. So yeah, now that the brows are all gelled down, I can go onto my eyes. So I'm gonna go grab this little Z palette again. Okay, so I'm just going to use creme brulee. Oh my God, I just dropped my brush. Oh, today's just really for my day. Okay, so I'm going to grab creme brulee by Makeup Geek and top off the excess. And I'm just going to just roughly bring that throughout my crease. I just always do this, even if I'm wearing just like a winged liner and no eyeshadow, I always run a bit of creme brulee in my crease because it just makes the biggest difference. I don't know. It's just my color. So you can see I'm really not doing this perfect. I'm really just blending it out messily. Just bam, bam, bam. And then I'm going to use this new Makeup Forever Eye Dust. So that's what it looks like. No way, it's Makeup Store. Oh my God, that's really embarrassing. <laughs> makeup Store Eye Dust. That's what it looks like. And it is in the shade Sand. And it's like a pigment and when I swatched this, I was like, oh my god. And the girl next to me was like swatching it and she's like, that is so pretty. And there was one left and I literally just grabbed it before she could grab it because I knew she was going to grab it. So that's what you go do. You just got to get in otherwise because like all the other really nice shades that I really liked were all sold out. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to like open this. Not really sure. Can you meant to lift this off or just twist it? Okay. Yeah, you meant to like, I just lifted it off and it just, yeah. Um, and the lid just fell off. It's a bit shitty, isn't it? This packaging is so shit, like, 
the lid just keeps falling off. Not very happy about that. Okay, I twisted it and now it's got a little thing like that. Like, what do I do with it? Get my little mixing plate. I'm just popping a little bit on my mixing plate. So I'm going to wet my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. And I'm going to pick up this pigment. Oh yeah. This is nice. Sort of duochrome it's like got like a real silver blue tinge and it's got like a real sandy tinge. You see how pretty that is? Holy moly! I'm just gonna bring that into my inner corner as well and like down into this bit here. I'm now going to grab. I really want to grab Coco Bear. So you know what I want. I'm gonna grab my Lorac Makeup Pro and I'm gonna grab the shade Blush. So that one there, it's like a pinky color. I'm just gonna put that here so we don't have that real harsh line happening. Okay guys, my apologies, this brush is a bit dirty. But yeah, that's nice. Very soft. Very soft and girly. I think that looks nice. What do you guys think? or nay. I like it. Okay, now I'm going to grab same blush shade. And I'm just going to put that under my lash line. Just very softly. In my waterline, yes. You know what, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to put black in my waterline and tight line because I want to make it look a bit more dramatic, you know? So, I've got my Urban Decay Perversion. It's getting really small. My favourite black eyeliner. OMG. So yeah, I'm just tight lining with this as well. Which I hate tight lining, I never do. But it does make a huge difference, I'll tell you that. Alright, now I'm going to go in with mascara. I'm going to try this CoverGirl The Super Sizer Lash. I've heard really good things about this, so I hope that I like it. I love all of CoverGirl's mascaras. So... Interesting wand. Ooh. Holy shit, this is black. I like this a lot. It's very black. Very black and very, like a very wet formula. Like I literally only need one coat. Look at my lashes right now. That is one coat. I don't even want to put falsies on now because it's so good. But I will because I got new ones. So I want to put them on. Okay, so for falsies, I'm wearing velour lashes. I got these at iMats. I got, I've worn these ones before and they look incredible. What style are they? They are wispy sweet nothing. And they are so, so nice. They're just so wispy and they look so natural. And I'm running out of eyelash glue, no! So that's what they look like there. That's a close-up. How stunning are these? Seriously. So I'm just going to pop those on. How do I do this on camera? So that is one on. And that's the second lash on as well. So let's zoom. So that is a close-up of the eyes. Okay, so for the face, I'm um, just going to contour with my shade and light palette because I don't like to really set my face with powder all the time. But I want my bronzer to really glide on smoothly, so I'm just going to grab like these two highlighty shades and I'm just going to pat over that area just really lightly just so there's no tackiness i'm going to grab my nars nars contour brush and i'm going to grab the middle shade there i'm going to grab the middle one just do a little bit of contouring and i'm just going to do a little bit on schnoz as well so i just did like a really really light contour 
Now I'm going to grab my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 30M. And these bronzers just look beautiful. That's it there. Oh my god. Can you just look at how nice that looks? Yeah, I'm just going to bronze up my skin with that one. This one's good because it's quite dark, so you can do it when you've got a tan on. But you can also get away with using it when you're not. It's dark, so in my natural tone of lamb now. Okay, now for blush and highlight, I'm going to use um, the Milani Baked Blush in Rose Duo for my blush. For highlighter, I'm going to use Becca Moonstone. For lips, I'm going to line them with Essence Lip Liner in Soft Berry. And for lipstick, I'm going to use Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in... Okay, I'm going to try to say it. This is the limited edition one. I tried to say it in my blog and I couldn't say it. Okay. A Drogany. A Drogany. I think it's Drogany. But yeah, I'm going to apply that. Oh, that lip liner matches perfectly. I was hoping it would. Smells a bit weird. To finish off, I'm going to spritz my whole face with MAC Fix Plus. And that's the end of the book. Get ready with me guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I'm going to go film my uh, my iMats haul now. So yeah, that'll be up before this video. So I will link it in the description box so you can go watch it. And yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. I want to thank you all guys for all the amazing feedback on my Sydney vlogs. I don't know why, but you guys always just seem to love my vlogs and that's awesome because I love filming them. And yeah, so I'm going to stop talking. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look and I'll see you all in my next video. 